What's up, Blade fam? So have you ever said to yourself, if I only had the time, I would be that good, or I would improve? Well, now more than ever, we have nothing but time. So I wanted to give you guys four different ways that you could improve your skating, all from being at home. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so tip number one. Have you ever heard of Qi? You know, Qi Gong? Well, there's this thing called Blade Qi. And I guess the idea would be similar to Qi or Qi Gong practices. The idea would be holding your grinds or developing the stability and strength in those body positions without any skates on. Now this would be for someone that doesn't have a P-rail or lives in an apartment complex and can't really be jumping up and down because they've got neighbors downstairs. So what this does is it gets you into those body positions. So you could get into say soul grind and you're gonna really slowly feel that. So coming from a centered position, popping, dropping into a soul grind and feeling that position and holding. Now where would you want your arms to be? You can practice visualization. You know, if you're riding a long rail, you'd have your arms up, wings out, stability. This is gonna build strength in your core, in your legs, and your shoulders. It also help you visualize where you wanna be. You can do this in any of your grind positions and switch or regular with little to any, I guess, consequence of missing a grind or stuff of that nature. So it's a really good way to build strength and stability all from home. You can practice movement patterns as well. Say you're working on sole, switch top sole, true top sole, and you're transferring your weight and energy to your feet and feeling those balance points and such. Get as creative as you want. Maybe a trick that you've always wanted to learn was savanna or back savanna. And so by holding this position and really push down into the edges of your shoes. You can even put your skates on. You can work on holding these grinds or these body positions for 60 seconds, build up to three minutes, whatever it is that your body can handle. But it is something that I believe will improve your skating. Leave a comment below if you practice things like this as well. Oh, that's such good skating there. So tip number two, pick a skate section or a video or a skater that maybe you skate like or that you're inspired by and watch. Slow down the video, study the movement, and take notes. I think taking notes and bringing them with you really helps improve your skating. So this is leading up to eventually P-Rail practice, but by taking notes and studying where their feet position is, where their shoulders and hands, their, of course their neck. I try to study the, these things and apply them to my skating. Of course we wanna be original and we wanna be creative. That is always important. But I think by watching other skaters, you start to understand the, the basics. You know, watching Alex Broskow, somebody that is incredibly talented. I've admired this guy since I was 16 years old. His skating is so good. And I believe he's put so much hours and time into his practice that he's a perfect person to study. So that would be tip number two, study and take notes. Tip number three, exercise. Now we're sitting at home, most of us, and we're getting stuck in this laid out, you know, here for however many hours you've accumulated while we're in quarantine. So my family and I are very active. We love exercise, we're gym junkies. And so I've been, of course, exercising through this. Now for skating, of course, you're gonna to wanna to be doing, you know, your traditional squats. That's something that's like, hey, I can do those all day. You can start doing more of your pistol squats, keeping form, cranking them out, switch, go down to this side, keeping that balance, and exercise your body. You can do different things. You know, I'm doing a complete at-home program where 
I work out my whole body. But exercise would be tip number three. Get out in your front yard area, do some jumps, do some tumbling, 360s, 540s, 180s. You can do all these things all from being at home. So now the last and final tip is tip for P-rail practice or box skating. For some of us, we're lucky we have P-rails that we've built prior to the confinement or we have been able to run and get supplies and build uh, different P-rails. I've seen all sorts of skaters now skating P-rails at home, playing games of Blade and just sharing this time together through uh, FaceTime and different things going live. So I have been practicing P-Rail. I've done maybe three sessions. So on a personal note, on for me, I haven't really spent a lot of time skating. I've kind of allowed my legs and my body to heal for the first two weeks in quarantine. My family and I have been in quarantine since March 15th. The reason why we chose to go into a self-quarantine so early is because I have a mom that is asthmatic and my wife's mom gets chronic pneumonia every year. So we really wanted to practice healthy, safe habits so that way we didn't bring anything home. I was currently laid off as the, the 28th, our gym closed. So I had a, a lot of mental stuff going on. You know, we were supposed to have this wheel launch hitting soon and we just kind of got blindsided by this whole event. So I took the first two weeks off from skating. I kind of just stayed at home, got my mind right, I meditated, and I focused more on MMA drills, getting kind of that aggression out of just being all of a sudden unemployed. <laughs> so the last and fourth tip is P-Rail practice. I've got this simple rail here, um, literally made it for under $20 and we just went to Lowe's. It's, you know, if you haven't seen my other video, how to improve from home, I bring this video out. I don't really skate the P-Rail in that video. I show you stalls and kind of the blade chi work um, and some other tips in there. So if you're still at home and wanting to grow your skating, check out that video. I'll put it in the description below. All right, so there you have it. Four ideas or four tips that will help you improve from home. Tip number one, Blade Chi, tip number two, watch skate videos and study, take notes. Tip number three, exercise, do squats, jumps, pistol squats, spins, whatever you feel comfortable with. Don't forget the upper body too. I'm going to be doing a video later this week that's gonna cover rehab exercises that I have been doing to re rehab the postural things that happen from rollerblading. So if you're interested in that, leave a comment below. I'll do a video where I'm showing you exercises that will get you out of this bad posture from skating. You know, it's, I do it all the time. It's kind of like this guard thing. And so I've been playing around with correcting my posture. That's something I really want to have is good posture. And tip number four is P-Rail practice. Thanks again for you guys' continued support. You know, our family took a couple weeks off from just everything and we're back. We wanna connect with you guys and share our love and passion for rollerblading and other things too. You know, we want to share some of our nutrition things and ideas that we have like green drinks and different herbs or teas that can help anyone that's dealing with this virus. If you are sick or you know somebody that is sick or you just wanna boost your immune system. We also have lots of exercises and different fitness things that we're wanting to do. We're honestly thinking about starting a whole nother channel where it's just our fitness and exercise from myself to my wife and even my little guy, Philip. If you guys follow us on Facebook, I posted a picture of him a little while back and I've got a little jacked 15 year old, you know, and all he does is calisthenics. So maybe in the future we'll be doing something in that direction. Leave a comment below if you would support that or if you're interested in fitness and exercise alongside aggressive inline skating. You guys stay healthy, you guys stay safe, and you guys stay strong. We're gonna get out of this and it's gonna be a really freaking awesome thing, you know. Anytime I think we go into these times where we're faced with adversity or struggle. I think we come out stronger and more united as a people. We're also seeing that we're all one. You know, we have nations and these ideas, governments that divide our, divide us up. 
But this virus doesn't give a damn if you're from China or if you're from Russia or the United States or Australia or anywhere. It doesn't matter. We're all humans and we're all fighting this virus or this pandemic as one. And so I really hope this kind of gives us an opportunity to bring us together as one and we come out stronger. Much love from the Acosta Blades family. Till next time, keep the blade alive. Aloha.